Hello, I'm Deli Adams Sports Editor Kurt Ritzman, and I'm here with our Female Scholar Athlete of the Year, presented by the Daily Item, Sun Orthopedics of Evangelical and PP&L Electric Utilities. It's Mount Carmel graduate Mia Chapman. Congratulations, Mia. Thank you. I'd just like to thank all the sponsors for putting on this um, scholarship program, and my family, my teammates, my coaches, and everyone who has supported me through this journey. Now, you had a lot of athletic success this year. Which was the most rewarding season for you? Um... I don't think there's really one specific season. I think all of them. I mean, I kind of was with the same group every year. There's a couple of new girls, but just getting to play with that group of people and those different coaches. I mean, soccer, obviously, with the record and everything, that was pretty cool, and getting to make the district semifinals. But basketball, I mean, I love basketball season. I mean, I'm going on to play soccer, but, I mean, those coaches, that program, and, like, the culture of that team, I mean, that'd probably be the, the best one. Now, when you guys won the state title your junior year, you hurt your knee. So just tell us a little bit about what the process of coming back from that was like and then scoring, what, 45 goals in the fall? I mean, that's, <laughs> that's a loaded question with the <laughs> knee. But it was a difficult journey. It was hard on me. Um, it was hard on my family and us, too. But, I mean, I had a very strong support system. And I think that's most important moving forward is to have that kind of system behind you because when you one thing I learned from my high school career is I mean I learned a lot of things but one <laughs> specific thing I learned is that don't take anything for granted I mean you had COVID shutting things down you had my knee shutting things down and so just knowing that I had so much support behind me I had amazing coaches teammates my family it just kind of helped me get through that now this is the scholar athlete of the year program and you obviously did very well in school took challenging classes I guess why did you do that when you had so much other stuff going on um, I mean, I like to challenge myself. My parents always told me, they said, try to be a better person every day and just don't be static. Um, I just trying to get different courses in, different, like challenging myself academically and athletically. Athletically, I thought it would help me out, like, in the long run. Sure. And then the last component of this is community service. So tell me a little bit about, I know one of your big things was the Think Big. Mm -hmm. So t just tell me a little bit about that. Um, the Think Big program, it's, um, it's a program that raises money and funds for pediatric cancer patients and their families. So it goes towards like their grocery bills and any other type of like payments that they may be struggling with during that program. I mean, me, like I haven't had pediatric cancer, but I've suffered my, my lost my grandmother last year. And um, my, my grandmother now was just recently diagnosed. So like to me, it's more personal. Mm -hmm. So getting to raise that money, we put on a big th Think Big Dance Marathon. It's 12 hours long. We have a bunch of games, food, and just a lot of fun events that helps raise this money. And then the last thing is, what are you doing next year? I'm going to East Stroudsburg University. I'm majoring in early childhood education, but I plan on getting in the Pennsylvania State Police, and I'm also playing soccer. <laughs> okay. Thanks a lot, man. Thank you.